Hello and welcome to the Pence. My name is Eileen Hendren and I'm the assistant director here. Right now in this room you see our ceramic show. It's called the best of the best. The best of the best is sort of an oxymoron because for every artist that you see up on the wall there's probably 50 others that are just as good that should be here but because we're limited in space we had to uh, just pick what we thought would work for this uh, area. So what I want to do this morning is talk to you about a few pieces that I think are exceptional in the sense of they've tried something different than just the regular thrown ceramic bowl that you usually see. So this piece here by Michelle Fisher, you notice this kind of Victorian woman and her hand is sloped over the edge and just the difficulty of creating a piece uh, tapered down like this uh, that's resting now on wood but when she made it it was not um, without it breaking is phenomenal and then she's gone and done a beautiful little under glaze stain for lace gloves this piece also lights up the candles and so she had to figure out at some point that she was going to construct something in the shoulder area that would hold these candles so art and ceramics uh, really takes a lot of architectural know-how. Um, you can't just stick an arm on and hope that it will stay there. You have to build that arm slowly so that the weight doesn't fall off. So that's one of the reasons I selected her piece. And obviously everything in this gallery is for sale. If you do love this piece, it's $1,200. Just give us a call. Uh, the next piece I want to talk about is Wes Rice. Now Wes has had a show here at the gallery uh, years ago and he usually is in our ceramic conference uh, show and he is one of three couples that uh, are showing here so his wife is also in here. Wes's pieces always have multi layers of things going on. If you look up closely there is a little dome here with a little fox and there is California poppies. He does a great sculptural uh, work here and I think it's just amazing that this thing came out without the ear falling off or cracking. He really is a master at what he does. This piece here is by Ivor Henning and Ivor is actually married to Jennifer, and Jennifer's piece is down there, and we'll get to it. It's a wonderful little butterfly. But this piece here is called High Robot, and its little head comes off, and there's another little person in there. And I first met uh, this couple. They came into the gallery. They said, we'd like to show you our work. And I fell in love with it, and I said, you bet. So not only are they funny and humorous, but they are also really good technicians. This is also Ivor's piece with a uh, wonderful octopus on top of this vase. So when you look at this piece here, uh, and because I do ceramics, I look at it and I go, this is amazing that this stuck together, that the lid that he threw matches this, didn't warp. So there's all these things besides just the design and the glazing that goes into making this piece. So. Uh, this is truly phenomenal. This is a $900 piece and well worth it. Kind of <clears throat> scrolling uh, along, we've got Sandy Whetstone. People will know her from the Sparrow Gallery. She is fantastic at what she does. These are little Polaroids. This is the first time I've ever seen Polaroids made out of ceramics. This is uh, Julie Clement's work. And she <clears throat> made some pieces for a show. Unfortunately, because of the virus, the show was canceled. So she brought these pieces to us, and we're very fortunate. And they are like um, little snapshots that she figured her animals that she makes would do if she was out of the room. So there's one there, and he's photobombing this guy's uh, little portrait. And here's a little one of animals watching a little TV set that she made. And then you'll see these two shoes, and if you kind of scroll down, you can actually see the little lined up dog and his shoe. This is all ceramic, and yet from a distance of maybe two feet, you would swear this was a 1950s wind-up toy. This is uh, Jennifer Henning's piece, and she again um, is married to Ivor. 
And she also does all of our cups and bowls downstairs in our gift shop. And if you like her work, you can find a lot of it downstairs and we'd be happy to, to show it to you. Jan Crittenden is one of my personal faves. She came to us through our forgery show downstairs. And I have a habit of stealing all of Natalie's artists and bringing them upstairs. And uh, she had a show here not too long ago of her oils. And I asked her to do something in ceramics. These are so well worth coming in and seeing live time. There are little teeny tiny fish and little cards bending and a castle on waves on a bird. And then this one is uh, a prince and a princess in the, in the kingdom. Again, little cards. So she really is kind of using that Alice in Wonderland theme. This piece is by um, Bob Schumacher and he has put eyeballs on this. It's a very elegant piece um, with a lid. And this, this piece runs $500. This is a, a stoneware piece. So he's had to throw it. And then he's gone back and added the eyeballs. Now, Bob is married to Sonia. And this is Sonia's piece. And uh, if you like something like this, just to give you an idea, this is uh, $425. It's a beautiful, wonderful, um, porcelain bird. She has uh, hand built this. This looks thrown to me and then she's added the bird. And you can almost, of course we don't allow you to touch the pieces when you come in, but you can feel how she has stretched the wings out here with her fingers. And just, it's just a wonderful, marvelous, balanced piece. Over here is Malia Landis. Now Malia is known for her delicate Hawaiian wreaths. Uh, she had a show downstairs. This is called uh, California Native Series. And if you look inside there, there's a little salamander and there's a bird and another bird. And then she's kind of made this like the delta with uh, the uh, weed, water weeds kind of coming up. It's an exquisite little piece. And she has gone a lot to doing little shadow boxes. And she's just made a wonderful little scene in each one of these three boxes. She is married to Wes Wright, the one that did the big coyote head. This piece uh, is Ian Bassett, and he is new to me. So I did not know too much about Ian, but I saw his work, and I said, boy, we've got to bring this guy in. This set here is $555. This is porcelain. Now, I've worked with porcelain, and it is sensual, and it is beautiful, and it is clean and nice and it breaks all the time so for him to get pieces this large with the decals that he has put on it it's just amazing to me again well worth coming in and taking a peek at we hope that you will be able to come in sometime in june call you can make an appointment and see what we're doing this is nancy sylvan nancy i have worshipped for years she was on the cover of Ceramics Monthly, and back in the day when I first started, I said, boy, I'd really like to be a Nancy Sylvan. She is in major collections everywhere. Nice woman, great art, and we feel very fortunate that she's been in our shows not only downstairs, but upstairs as well. This piece here is uh, by Frankie Hansberry. Frankie is a Sacramento artist. Uh, I have a piece of hers, a big rabbit. And uh, this is a little bit different than what I normally see of hers. But what I love about this is just the great shape of those legs. I mean, that is just a perfect little body hanging there with the wings and then the bird head. This piece is $320, and that's a remarkable, remarkable price for something as well done as that. And the last piece I wanted to talk about, because it's so different, uh, is Kathy Currents. Now, Kathy is a Bay Area artist, and she has started out in our gift shop with fingerprint plates. They were just wonderful. We sold out of them. I said, please be in my show. And so she has kind of tipped her hat to old-time ceramics. These look like relics that she's carefully placed within this uh, rusted wire contraption. It's just a great, handsome piece that would look really well in kind of an industrial or minimalist type home. So 
If you're interested in this and anything else that you see here today, we would love to have you just either give us a call at area code 530-758-3370, or you can always text us. But I hope you have enjoyed our ceramic show. And if you like the pins and you believe in the pins and you're not a member, please think about becoming a member. And you can find that information on our website, www.pencegallery.org. Thanks.